Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, and what's up? Hey everybody, I'm Naturally Stacy, and welcome back to my channel, to all of my existing subscribers, and to all my new subscribers, hello, sit down, get a drink, get a snack, and welcome to my main choice, Pink Lemonade Product Review. All righty, all righty. So if you guys want to know about the three pieces that I picked up from the Main Choice Pink Lemonade line, stay tuned. All right, okay. Well, I was um, perusing Walmart. And while I was there, I picked up some of, I picked up three of the pieces of the Main Choice Pink Lemonade and Coconut line. I had to, I knew it was another name with it. It's Coconut, that's the other name. That's the other piece of it. And I picked up like three pieces and I, cause you know, I'm, I'm on my wash and goes and I'm not trying to do much else to my hair right now. Cause I really don't feel like it. It's just how I am right now in my life. So I was like, let me try this. I haven't really, I personally haven't seen a whole lot on it, but I'm not saying there isn't other videos out there on it, but you know, you know how it goes. Cause I, I look at some videos. I just don't look at a lot of them, but anyway, first product that I used was the pink lemonade and coconut super antioxidant and texture beauty fire beauty fire beautifier shampoo and there's a lot on this bottle and i'm not going to try to read everything plus the reflection off of my lights my lights and my light right here it's kind of hard for me to read everything but i will say it is an eight fluid ounce bottle and it's for curly, wavy, and kinky hair. And let's see, can I see? Oh, now I can see it. Let's see. It says natural growth and moisture and, and retention solution. Ready, set, curl. No stripping. And it has a bunch of other stuff on here I'm not going to get into. But I actually didn't have a problem with this product. I'm not going to say I hated it. I thought it wasn't a bad product. I have used, you know, shampoo is one of those things that's really hard to kind of review because it's either, it either moisturizes or it doesn't strip I mean, or it strips or, I mean, it, it really depends. But I will say this shampoo did get my scalp very clean. Um, it ran through and, and cleaned off the, all the product that was on my hair. And uh, my, my scalp isn't itching right now, but that's because I've been drinking a lot of water. That's another thing. <laughs> but no, actually, the shampoo's pretty cool. I actually liked it. The next product that I used in the Main Choice Pink Lemonade and Coconut line is the conditioner. And this is also an eight fluid ounce bottle. There's a bunch of stuff written on this bottle that I cannot read because of all my lights that I have going on right now. But... I will say one of the things it says is it improves elasticity and definition, adds longer lasting shines, strengthens, conditions, protect, protects, lightweight and anti-frizz formulated. Oh, we're going to talk about frizziness. So <laughs> and it's funny that it says that. And it says that on both the shampoo and the conditioner about being anti-frizz. The conditioner, it wasn't like a huge deal to me. Um, as you can see, I've used about this much of the conditioner. I wasn't like, oh my God, I love this conditioner. It's the best thing ever. It was pretty decent, but it wasn't, like I said, it wasn't my favorite conditioner. I've used better conditioners this year, last year, you know, whatever. But it wasn't like my fave. I, I could have gone, um, I could have gone with something else, really. I, but it wasn't bad. I will say the smell on all the products, they do. It does smell like pink lemonade. I will say that. So, um, but the, the, the uh, scent does not last all day. So it doesn't linger. Okay. You all know I do my deep conditioning, my oil, my leave-in. Then I went to the styler and this is the curl boosting sorbet and this is in all and actually all of the products also are infused with biotin and vitamins d and e and let's see huh. it says it fights frizz i love that i think that's so funny behind me it says rain go away we've had rain for the past couple of days uh yeah 
So my hair is not as defined as it should be because it's been pretty muggly outside. But let me tell y'all about this product real quick. Here is what it looks like in the jar. Try to bring it over. There we go. I was hope I was needing it to focus for me. And it is oh shoot, it is a pink. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's water. Okay. All right. Anyway, <laughs> I actually got water on myself. It wasn't product. It was water from when I co-washed my hair on Tuesday. That is so funny. Um, it is not a very, it's not an overly thick product. I will say, cause as you guys saw, it actually does move. So it's not an overly thick product and I have used a good amount of product. Let's see, I have this much of the jar left and I've only used this two days. I used it on um, Sunday when I washed my hair the first time and then Tuesday when I co-washed. I used a decent amount of product to try to get as much um, definition as I could in it. I will say um, it says it's anti-frizz. No, it is not. It is really not anti-frizz. You guys, um, actually, I'm going to show. try to get in a little closer so you all can see my hair. And it is frizzy. But there is a really nice amount of definition, I will say that. I, I have a good amount of definition. But it is frizzy also. I mean, because, like, if you reach in, you'll see the definition on the end of the curl. But, like, right in here, yeah, it's frizzy. It's frizzy. I'm not... But I'm not mad about it. I'm not because it's the weather. It, it's, you know, we hit the late rainy season because I thought April was the showers. May was the flowers, but we're getting our showers and we got our showers late April, early May. So whatever. I don't care. Okay. It's the inevitable question. Would I buy these products again? You know, I'm kind of mixed on this, on this one because, and I've never had a mixed review per se. The shampoo was cool. The conditioner was, it was cool. The styler, here's the situation. When I did use the styler on Monday, it was so, I mean, I had a lot of it on and I was scared that I would have buildup. So I rinsed a good amount of it off. As you guys are going to see in the pictures here, I, reached, I rinsed a lot of it off in the front, so my hair was super frizzy and not overly defined like I liked it to be. So Monday, I, I went to work like that. Tuesday, I went to work like that. But when I went home Tuesday, of course, I had to co-wash. And I just went on and said, forget it. Let's just see how this works. And it actually worked out perfectly fine with me leaving the product in because all the product dried out. So you, I did not have any residue. I will say it is not flaking. It's not bad. It's a really good product. I just wish this was a better week to test it. So I can't say it's the product's fault. I'm going to I'm gonna have to give it to Mother Nature. She kind of got me this week, and I didn't realize when I picked the product for the week that I was going to get two days, of, I mean, a day and a half of rain, basically. So, But would I buy these products again? I don't think so. I don't think these products really like wild me enough to say, oh my God, I have to have these products. I would not mind seeing how the um, curl boosting sorbet, how this would work on a twist out. I would actually like to kind of see how that would work. Um, maybe you will see that in a few weeks. We'll see. If you guys want to see that, talk to me below and let me know if you want to see it as a twist out just to see how, you know, how it compares to a wash and go. Cause a lot of things that they say, Oh, you can use as a twist out. You can use for a twist out. You can actually use in a wash and go too. I mean, you can actually use in a wash and go. You can use in a twist out. That's what I meant to say. So like I said, the product is nice, but I don't think it's something that I would want to get. Sorry. My, I, my Apple watch was going off. It's not one of those things. It's like, Oh my God, I have to go get today. So, but I'm not going to say don't buy it. I wouldn't tell people not to buy it. I just, there's other products that are better. I, I, I think that's the best way I can say it. There are other products that are better out there for you. 
All right, and that is it for this video. Um, I'm going to deconstruct this area, not the background. You guys are gonna still get the background. It's the things around me I'm actually gonna deconstruct because I need to clean. And since we're finally getting warm days in St. Louis, I guess now I can pull out my spring and summer clothes. So I think that's what I'm gonna do right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna get out of here. If you guys have any questions on these products or any of the products, that I have used, or if you guys have any suggestions of products you would like to see me use, talk to me below and I will do what I can on getting those products. Uh, like I said, I have more products that are coming in the wings. So hopefully it's something that you want. Um, hopefully I already have what you want to see. And if not, hopefully I can go get it. <laughs> and if you guys like products like, uh, like videos like this, please, give me a thumbs up and hit the red subscribe button below. So you can see all my videos on Sundays. You'll see them before noon central standard time on Sunday. <laughs> I'm not going to give an exact time anymore because every time I try to give an exact time, I don't have my editing done in time. That's what happens. Life happens. That's it. We have videos over here. <laughs> I had videos last week and week uh, before. So you guys can see the other reviews and um, other stuff I've talked about. And that's it. I'm going to get out of here. I'll talk to you later. All my social media is with the front. I'll talk to you later. Love, peace, and hair products. Bye.